This is Larry Cameo. As a former roofer, we would look at any roof and divide it basically into three components. There would be penetrations like chimneys and skylights and vents. There would be valleys like we're looking at here. Anything that wasn't a valley or a penetration was referred to as the field. Generally, roof leaks happen number one around penetrations, number two in the valleys, and number three in the field. The exception would be tile roofs, such as we're looking at here, which always tended to leak in the valleys first. And the explanation is fairly simple. You can't take tile and weave it together or install it in such a way as to make a water shedding assembly. So you have to use a W metal, which you can see the lower edge of just above the lip of the gutter. And it's just like a big, wide, flattened out W. But the problem comes when that valley becomes clogged with debris, which this one is. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see. And what that does is it effectively creates a dam so that water backs up and it jumps over the lip of that W metal. So it's a pretty simple thing to avoid, which is by keeping that valley clean, which involves disassembling it periodically, getting all the crud out of it, and making sure that the water flows fairly unrestricted through the valley to the gutter.